why. If you take the time that you spend interviewing, placing ads, training the bad hire, trying to reconcile it, because most of us don't get rid of them quickly. We recognize we may have made a bad hire, but we're going to fix the problem. If you walk through all of the associated costs with hiring the wrong person, again, numerous studies, not just what I think, show that depending on your organization, how quickly you're ready to terminate, it's costing you money. So we want to measure how many total replacement hires per year. Not how many new hires, because you may be experiencing growth in your business and hiring new positions. You want to look at total number of replacement hires. Total cost to hire. Each organization will be slightly different in what their total cost to hire is. But factors include how much does it cost to place the ad or the other source, <coughs> excuse me, the other sources that you use to bring people into your organization. How many hours does the human resource or other individuals spend going through resumes and applications? How many hours on average, and you can just do this as a good estimate, do you spend interviewing? What's the cost of a background check or a drug test if you perform those in your organization? And what's the average number of training hours the new hire will go through? That can give you a quick calculation of what the total cost to hire a new individual is. Once you know how many new hires you're bringing in and the total cost to hire, you can produce a report that says we've had to hire five people this year because we're not able to retain them. Maybe we're not training them. Maybe they're dissatisfied. But we're hiring five people, and it costs us $15,000 per new hire 